Morning everybody. Uh, we're here another beautiful day in Tucson. It's about 9 a.m. Um, this is the uh, aquaponics system, which you guys have seen before. As you can see, everything is growing really good. The fish are really happy in the tanks. Got the barrel ponics over there, and those are all doing pretty well. Everything seems to be growing nice. But since we're getting into mid to late October here, uh, the nights have been getting rather cool out here in the desert. In fact, some of the temperatures have gotten all the way down to 45, uh, which makes actually warming the water tanks up for the fish pretty crucial at this point. Uh, the sump tends to get kind of cold. Last night wasn't too bad, but uh, the last couple nights before that, the water temperatures were really starting to get low, so I started to have to turn off the pump at night so that I could keep the warm water into the totes and uh, not take any of the rapidly cooling water out of the sump or out of the grow beds and pump it into the totes and cool them off. So what I decided to do was make this little coil heater. Uh, just a little solar heater, basically made out of uh, half inch irrigation tubing, drip irrigation tubing, black. And I just put it in the sun and it can be moved around and basically you just uh, go from the pump and the pump goes in through the bottom outlet there and it goes all around the coils and it comes out the top and goes up into that tank up top. And it seems to be working pretty good because if you look here the temperature of the water coming in well, just a few minutes ago it was showing much cooler than that but it's already showing 71.5 temperature of the water coming out is showing about 78, 79 degrees, somewhere in that vicinity. So getting about a 7 or 8 degree uh, temperature increase going through these coils with just the 9 a.m. sun shining on it. So what it does during the day, it heats the water up pretty good. Uh, the tilapia that are inside the tanks, they like the temperatures to be over 80 generally. Uh, for them to be the happiest and feed the best and grow the best. Uh, and I'm not trying to say that this is going to be my entire heating solution uh, to keep the tanks warm, but it definitely seems to work pretty good uh, uh, just as an alternative to actually throwing a heater in the tank right now. And uh, obviously it's free energy from the sun, which is nice. So. That's all I want to show you for today. Thanks for watching.